Hola compañeros, estaremos en la reunión, en la, en la clase. Ah, pues sí, ya se conectó también. Hello. Hello, le estábamos Hello. extrañando. Yes, I'm here. How are you today? How are you? Fine, fine. Fine, teacher. Excellent. Good. Yes. Tell me, Luis Edgardo. Hola. Estaba poniendo la ley del 15 porque no la veía. <risa> Entre cabalitos nombres de Zoom le agarró la pereza hoy. Yo, Zoom, ábrete, Zoom, vamos, Zoom. Yo pensé que estaba en la otra clase. <risa> Me volví a equivocar, dijo. <risa> Ay, no. Imagínese qué barbaridad. Ok, bueno. Habemos cuántos? Diez. Muy bien, muy bien. Let's see. Let's check it. How was your day? A little hot, right? We are in May. Hey. ¿Quiénes ya vieron son popos de mayo? ¿Son popos? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yes. Ah, really. Hasta tacos están ofreciendo en Nahuizalco ya de son popos de mayo. <risa> los franceses dicen que se los comen con chocolate. Y más en nosotros que nos abundan y no nos los comemos. Ok. Les gustaría comer son popos cubiertos en chocolate, doraditos con tomatada. <risa> la verdad, no somos insectívoros nosotros. En huevo, como la flor de isote. Oh, ay, la flor. Tan rica la flor de isote. Son popos en huevo. Son popos en tomate, guisaditos o en las papas. En una parte de Costa Rica sí lo hacen, son popos con huevo. ¿Verdad? Son popos. Sí, no, me atreví a, no me atreví a probarlo, pero. Fíjese que a mí se me ocurre, porque por accidente me. No, oigo porque me conecto ahí. Por accidente me he comido un par de hormigas. Bueno, no me las he comido, pero me las he echado a la boca. Y. Ay, mire, en serio, sí. popos. Oh, ¿Really? Creí que eran frijolitos así, refritos, bien, bien tostaditos. No, teacher, son, son popos, con limón. <risa> en el pan dulce se van las hormigas, teacher. <risa> no, es de un día de esto, tomando agua. No sé cómo llegó de esas hormigas que son como medio rojas. Así da chilosa, bien fea, no me gustó. Y me pregunto si así serán los son popos. Hay que probarlos. Hay que probarlos para salir de, salir de dudas. <ríe> ¿Quién se atreve? ¿Quién se atreve y nos cuenta? David. Vaya, David, volunteer. Aquí está bien, me vino. No, no, no para nada. No, 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 no parqueando, ya llego, ya llego. Ay, no. no, propongo a David también. Proponemos a David. Yo paso. Ajá, sí. Vaya, David. Profesor. Bueno, no, no, solo pues, entro, estoy parqueando, me estoy parqueando. Ah, bueno, yo sí creería ah, yo que sí. Dijo David anima. que sí. Ya dijo David que sí, que cuando se parque se voluntaría no va a, decir a, si a probar los sopopos. Sí. <risa> Pero si también dice, ella no, ella se, no, se, dice. Ofrece, se ofrece de víctima. Lo que ustedes no saben <risa> es que será el platito que se acaba de cenar, Rosy. ¿Verdad, Rosy? Exacto. <risa> no, teacher, una ¿Pero vez... qué, es lo que tengo que, qué es lo que tengo que hacer? Porque no entendí. Lo que tiene que hacer... 
voluntariarse. Ah, son copos de mayo. Mire, sí. vamos a ver, no sé si logra ver allí, David. Ah, son buenos. A mí, me, Luis, me, me recomendó ese platillo. <risa> ¿A qué saben? Son chilosos, son ácidos. ¿Cuál de los dos, Luis? Es, es igual que los chapulines. Exacto. No he comido chapulines. Es que como le echan un montón de especies, entonces no se siente. Es como solo tronadito a veces. Uh. No le sabría decir un sabor así específico. Es que yo les contaba a ellos que por accidente en mi agua iba una hormiga y era así como medio ácida. Pero era de esas rojas, hormiga, no era son popo. Quizá estaba afligida, por eso salió ácido. Oh, en serio. Digo, ya me morí. <risa> Solo me imaginé. Solo me imaginé algo bien extraño. Yo me imaginé a la pobre. Una hormiga. Una hormiga. Pidiendo auxilio. ¿eh? Ya me morí, digo, la hormiga. Ay, no, qué tremendo. Bueno, pues hay que probar un platito de son popos. No está de pero, pero igual que los chapulines, no. <ríe> o, lo, o sea, los tamontes, los que venden ahí en México. Ajá. Igualito. igualito. Es un sabor un poquito simple. De verdad, no, no tiene sabor. Bueno, yo no le sentí sabor. Y no había COVID cuando los probé. Ah, bueno. Así que no. ah, ah, pues son simples. O no lo supieron cocinar bien. Otra también. Verdad. Bueno, otro platito que probar, Luis. Chapulines. Vamos a ver, Adriana. Sí. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Ana Alicia. Ana. Ana, Ana. ¿No está Ana? ¿Y qué me le está pasando a Ana, pues? Carolina. Carolina. No está. Claudia Carolina. Claudia Carolina, muy bien. Diego. Diego Batres. Diego. No. No yet. Edwin Mauricio. Edwin Mauricio. Edwin, no. Elvin Alexander. Present teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Eh, Grace. Present teacher. Okay. Grace Michelle, very good. Joana. Teacher, me voy a ausentar un ratitito porque voy a manejar un momento. Ya voy a volver a conectarme. O sea, voy a quedarme en la clase oyendo. Para, para revisar el operativo. Ok. Drive carefully. Joana. Hi, teacher. Present. Aún no he llegado, pero aquí voy. Ok. Ok, ok. Eh, Jonathan. Jonathan. Present teacher. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Ok, José Alfredo. ¿Qué tal? ¿Ya en casita? ¿Todavía no? No, ya. Hoy sí llegué temprano. Ey, excelente. Karen Elena. Present teacher. Buenas, buenas. Regálame mi botellita de agua, porfis. La dejé perdida, no sé dónde. dónde. Por ahí. La llené y la dejé. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Ok. Karen Stephanie. No, ya. Carla Lorena. Carla Lorena. Carla Patricia. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Yo sabía que ahí está. Luis Mauricio. Thank you. Present teacher.
Nubia Zulema. Present teacher. Rosa Hilda. Present teacher. David Alexander. Present teacher. Oscar Mauricio. Oscar. Present teacher. Hola, presente. Ok. Beatriz Yamlet. Present teacher. Ok. Vaya, vamos a ver. Carla Patricia, bueno, que hoy he pasado lista tardecito. Creo que los que no están, no están. Ok. Bueno. Nice to see you. Today, ah, le vamos a dar a compartir de una vez. Today, eh, we have the review, right? We are going to do the review of unit number one. Eh, to begin, we have an activity where you are going to share all the vocabulary that you remember, or that you learn this, in this unit in the unit number one in the first week of class, right? Remember our week, <coughs> our week begins on Wednesday and finishes on Tuesday, right? Okay, I'm going to give you about okay, three minutes, three minutes for you to write as many words as you can that you have learned this week. I'm going to put the chronometer and after those three minutes, I'm going to give you some time for you to go and work or compare with your partners. Vamos a ver. Three minutes. Ay, no, se me fue, le puse 30 metros. Ahí está. Are you ready? Go. You can start. When the three minutes finish, that time is going to blim, 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 to sound. Forty five seconds. Thirty seconds.
10 seconds. Okay, time's over. Time's over, time's over. Now, I'm going to send you in groups of three. Let's see, we are 16 right now. I'm going to send you in groups of three for you to go check. Okay, share with your partners the words that you have written. Okay. I'm going to show you. Vaya. There you go, chicos. Go compare your vocabulary in the list that you have and check the words that your partners had. Check meaning, discuss if you know the words that your partner wrote, if you know the meaning, and write a couple of sentences using the new vocabulary. There you go. Try to join me. Adriana, Joanna, Grace, try to join. Uh, la primera. Spreadsheets. Spreadsheet. Yes, spreadsheets. Creo que sí se pronuncia spreadsheets. Hoja de cálculo. Ah, hoja de cálculo. Teacher BBA. ¿Qué dijo que significaba? Business administration. Business administration. Y la palabra, la palabra que escribe, se escribe since, ¿qué significa? ¿Cuál? Since. Since. ¿Ya qué? ¿Ya qué? Sí lo entiendo, yo no sé. Can you spell no sé it? La que... Es I-N-C-E. Repeat. Es I-N-C-E. Oh, since. Mm -hmm. since. You use since when you're talking about the beginning of the time when you started doing something. What I... Mm -hmm. Other world is less hours. La palabra solo es a está. Tengo duda en la palabra. Bueno, que es aquella duda. La palabra ben. B e e n. They spell it in English and in Spanish no lo sigo. <laughs> sí, sir. Eh, B A A no B A A M. ¿Se ve? A A A A A. B A A N. Van. Van. Maybe B E E N B E E Bing 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 Pero B E E no A A Es que es Bing Bing escribe Bing Bing Bing. Bing. You pronounce it Bing. Bing. Then you say estado o sido. Mm -hmm. es, el, es el pasado participio del verbo to be. 
he sido he estado. Por ejemplo, yo he estado cocinando. I have been cooking. Okay. <clears throat> puede ser? ¿Cuántas palabras iban a hacer? Las, las que, no que o sea, las que se fueran nuevas para nosotros. Ajá, este. exacto. Oh. Bueno, esta vida. Uh -huh. Exactly, you need one only. Uh, pues sería um, um, sí. otra manera como 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 se decía el hyphen 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 eh, at Okay. Y, el guión bajo, que no me recuerdo cómo se decía. Ah, at, ya, ah under, el L. Under. Four. Under. Four. Uh -huh. Under. La. De la roba, ¿cómo era? Disculpe. At come. At. 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 Uh -huh. Y at, at come es, ¿qué es? No. 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 Dot. Dot es el punto y com es el com, que va al final en el punto. Ah. También había okay. otra palabra. Se me olvidó. <laughs> La olvidé. Um, BBA. BBA. What is BBA? Who remembers? Bachelor of Business Administration. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A Bachelor in Business Administration, exactly. Mm -hmm. Entiendo que en español es administración de empresa, ¿verdad? Okay. Underscores, underscores es también John Bajo, ¿verdad? Ajá. El underscores. Underscore. underscore. Ok. Lo voy a poner. Unders. Underscores. Quiero ver, había otra. Mm. ¿Cuál otra? ¿Cuál otra? Tru, tru, veamos. Crónica Medical Condition. Ah, Condition. Uh -huh. Es verdad. The medical condition. Ajá, igual que hypertension. 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 Hyper. Uh -huh. Apply también. Apply. Uh -huh. Duties también. Tourist. Duties. Uh -huh. Duties. Así es, ¿verdad? Duties. Mm -hmm. Duties. What are your duties? Duties, eh, responsabilidades duties. o deberes. Responsibilities, exactly. Ah, okay. Responsibilities. Veamos. Solo eso me acuerdo. Until también. Uh -huh. Until. Uh -huh. Hay una, pre una pregunta número tres que dice así. I have been you free bring amigos. Está. Tiene que tener lista hasta el día de hoy. Hi teacher, yes. I'm here. Hi, I'm... hello. How are you doing? Um, good. Good, good. Fighting with the traffic, but 
Yeah, I am at home. But it seems like if we were in December, right? The traffic is horrible at any time of the day, any time. It's like, a, it's insane. The traffic is just a mess right now. Yeah. And it's Tuesday. Imagine Friday. That would be terrible. Oh. Friday at Colón Escalón, where I work, it's just unbelievable. It's impossible, right, to move. Yes. But good that you're home now. Yes. I'm just trying to, to do the activity. Excellent. I will call you in a minute. Uh, Okay. I hope okay. you're ready, right? Yes, yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Okay, everybody coming, coming, coming. Okay, a ver, what words have been new for you? Mm -hmm. What new words can you share from the list? What words were totally new for you? Duties. Duties, okay. Evening manager. Uh huh. Uh, uh, BVA. Yeah, exactly. What is BVA? Bachelor Business Administration. Bachelor Business Administration. Uh, mm -hmm. Chronic medical condition. Uh huh. Exactly. And then um, I remember last one. Um, apply. Okay. Apply like when you apply for a job, right? Okay. Now today we are going to talk about the characteristics that make a perfect manager. So what do you think are the characteristics of a good manager? What do you think are the characteristics of a good manager? Write down a couple of characteristics and then let us know. What are the characteristics of a good manager what do you think right good listener it's a good listener yes what else what else what it's else uh, intelligent it's intelligent okay aha uh -huh. what else good a leader teacher it's a good leader yeah definitely what else Leader, leadership has leadership so it's a good leader right mm -hmm. what else has clear goals has clear goals that's very important for a manager definitely something else tall tanned and handsome handsome okay what else 
Good communicator. It's a good communicator. Yeah. Knows how to talk with people. Organize. Organized. Okay, it's organized. Nice. What else? Discipline. Uh huh. Discipline. Discipline. It's this. I have a. I have a uh, firm in me. Can you repeat that, Oscar? Uh, uh, have a uh, firm in me. Okay. Tiene una mente firme. Imagine that. What about getting or being like uh, somebody who understands people? Or you think it's not necessary that? Yes, it's unnecessary. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Definitely, it's very, very necessary, right? And check here. We uh, have. Good character. <laughs> Yeah, because if the manager is complicated, that would be terrible. And I like this. I like this characteristic, be a, per, a people person. What do you think means be a people person? Hmm? Someone who has a good relationship with the, with the person. Ah, uh -huh, uh -huh, exactly. Knows how to work with people, right? Have you have you seen uh, managers or bosses that you say he's very intelligent? He knows a lot. He knows everything, <gasps> but he's terrible working with people, right? So uh, something very important is this: people person. You have be a good communicator. That's something that you mentioned there, right? Be technically proficient. So the manager has to know, has to know exactly what's going on in, he, in his company, right? Encourage teamwork. In every company, doesn't matter where you are, you must know how to work in teams. So now people who say, no, I work alone, I do it alone, mm -mm, doesn't work anymore. So that was a push in the past. But now we all have to learn to work in teams, right? That's very important. Lead by the example. That's another important thing. What you're going to do right now, it's go to your manual. Let me tell you the page. Page 17 in your manual, you're going to read about these uh, characteristics, right? Read about these, these five characteristics. Something you will do with those characteristics is first underline all the vocabulary that is new for you. Yes? Read information, identify the words that you don't understand, explain or underline all the words that are related to work that you know, and all the words that you don't understand, okay? And of course, as you go through the reading, you work with your group explaining what you understand about each of the characteristics mentioned. Is that clear? So you're going to do three things here. One, go through the reading, right? And underline all the words related to work that you know. Second, circle the words that you don't understand. Yeah? And then, as a group, explain in your own words what you understood about each category or each characteristic. Yep. 
As soon as you're ready, I will call you and you will explain each of the characteristics to the rest of the class. Got it? Three things. Underline words related to work. Circle the words you don't understand and get ready to explain each characteristic in your own words. Okay, there we go. Oh, 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 okay. Bah. We're ready to share. Teacher, excuse me, we are uh, on until, I don't know how to say, todavía. We're now, we are in unit number one. Yeah. Yes, Anna. Teacher, just a question. Is only uh, one paragraph or all, all the page? I mean, so the you five. Will, of you, will read, you will read the five characteristics. Okay. Mm -hmm. I divided it in, in one, 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 because if no, it looks like very little, right? And we're not able to. Yo ya no, Mickey. So I mean. But we are going to explain the five of them. Or only one? The five. The five. Okay. Yes. Okay, as, thank you, you. as you go reading uh, with your partners, you go read all of them. Vamos a ver. Okay, thank you. Okay. Vamos a ver. Claudia, Carla, Lorena. Oh, here, Carla, Lorena. Teacher, excuse me. I didn't download the manual. So when I am looking in the platform, unit number one, it's from page one to 10. And then unit two, it begins with the page 19, not 17. I, um. Anna, did you enter to the group, or to the WhatsApp group uh, the first day of class? Yes, or no? Yes. By a check in the, in the WhatsApp group, I shared the manual. And there you have the full complete manual. Carlita helped us joining all the, the, the the parts from the platform. So I took the one Carlita shared in, in Zoom and I pasted there in the in the WhatsApp group. So you can download it because it's easier for me. I don't know what you think, but I consider it's easier to have all the group, all the book in one instead of having it separated. So check it there. Almost, I mean, I'm, I'm checking, so sorry. I'm checking that all the groups have. Okay, yeah, I guess, I guess we are ready. Are you ready? Yeah. Yes, ready. <laughs> okay, there we go. Oh, Claudia, Carolina. ¿Qué pasó? Yo ya la había agregado a un grupo. Ya estoy aquí. Vamos a ver. Se ha, se ha metido con dos cositos. Con computer y cell phone. No. Es que la veo doble. Ah, sí. Permítame. Ya me voy a desligar. Ah, ah, vaya. Bueno, pero igual ya la mandé con, con el otro. Con la compu también para allá. Ah, pa, gracias. Para que así quede siempre dentro del grupo 3. Ah, pa. Gracias. Okay. Try to join, chicos. Try to join. Lo halló, Ana. Hello. Carla Lorena, Diego. Diego, Diego. Muy bien. Elvin, Grace. Ahí está. Ay, sí, ya me perdí. <laughs> sí. <laughs> Pero explica. Page 17. Page 17. Page. Ah, permit, teacher. Sí, page 17. Hulu. Ay, lo siento, pero como 
le voy a ser sincera, lo poquito que le entendí. A ver, tenemos que leer todo lo de ahí, todo, todo lo de la página 17. Sí, sí. Luego entendí como que teníamos que circular, pero no sé. No El vocabulario. Circle. The, the words that you don't know. Ajá, ok. Solo las que no sabes. Ah, las palabras que no entendamos, ¿verdad? Ajá. Y, y underline, luego teníamos... Underline the ones related to work. Underline. Underline the ones that you relate to work. El vocabulario relacionado con el trabajo. Lo subraya. Uh -huh. sorry. sorry, hablo así pausado porque estaba leyendo un mensaje que ha mandado. ¿Quién es Capineda? Karen Pineda. Ah. No. Sí, ¿verdad? Karen Pineda es la otra chica. Y que tuvo un accidente. Teacher Norxo. Norxo. Es como una, el nombre de una empresa, ¿no? Ajá. Uh -huh. oh, ya. Sí, por eso no, no había traducción de sí. eso. <risa> Era la primera que iba a Sí, marcar. porque mire. No, igual. Pero este, si me le... Again, the, the products we create at Norxel sí es the name of the, of the company. Ajá. Okay. Uh -huh. Hola, Sí, Rosa. Eh, empezamos leyendo entonces, ¿verdad? Sí. Y así en cuanto van leyendo, van encerrando o van subrayando. Ajá, las palabras, las palabras que, que... No entendemos y las que están relacionadas al trabajo, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. okay. ¿Quién empieza? Yo la sigo. Hay uno de ustedes puede compartir para que no entren a trabajar en grupo individual. I can't because I have the manual in my phone and the class on the computer. Oh, what about you, Luis? But teacher, we have to underline the words that I know. No. Underline the words related to work. Ah, related to work. Okay. And the circle, one, circle the words that I don't know. No. Okay. And then explain each characteristic using your own words. Okay. Related to work like, like, things that you use to work or because related to work can be a manager, a conflict, resolution, conflict resolution, motivate your team, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, computers, uh, computers uh, man managerial team, communicate events, How do you say effectively? Effect, effectively? Effect, effectively. Effect. Ah, effectively. Ajá. Pero leanlo juntos, no trabajen individually, porque el propósito es que trabajen como equipo. Ok. But the words that, that we don't know have to be individually. No, porque pueden ir discutiéndolo juntos. Tal vez la que uno no sabe, tampoco el otro. Okay. Okay. Vaya, ya que ya compartió. Waste could He said to waste street. <coughs> you will be required. Require, required. Required. Okay, thank you. Required to routine update your employees on their and the team performance. You will you will communicate any feedback from upper manage, management and customer and provider status 
information when asked. Ok, eh, de esta sí entendemos lo que dice todo. Usted puede visualizar una visual. Métodos de comunicación, ¿no? Uh -huh. Y eh, la forma en que los puede utilizar. Ajá, los métodos. Ajá, los métodos. Uh -huh. Para todo esto, para una de una actualización de rutina de cada de cada Empleado. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tanto de, de sus equipos como el de nosotros. Uh -huh. Y de esta manera estar como retroalimentando para manejar bien las, las ventas y los estatus de provisiones. Uh -huh. Y la información y los estatus de información que nos pregunten o de preguntas. Cuando, no, cuando se han preguntado, sí. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Y usted, Oscar, si sí estamos claros ahí. Y dar una, dar como una sugerencia al equipo de manager. Sí, sí. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. De, de momento. Uh -huh. vale. Pasamos al 3, si gustan, por no que nos manden. Sí. No falta. Vale. Voy a leer el 3. Be technically proficient. The products we create at Norxod are technically complicated. You don't need to be able to code in C sharp, but you should be able to give technical, technical guidance and decide the best strategies and methods for success. Success. I know having Watch Happy Feet or, or the March of the Penguins does not qualify you as technically proficient in Linux. El S, C, C, la C numeral es un código. Igual lo de Happy Feet. Y lo de Linux. Uh -huh. eh, prácticamente está hablando sobre que entre más conocimiento sobre eh, propósito técnico o, o eficientemente. En inglés. Te habla de un un paquete de North North in English in English in English. It says it says that it's not necessary to you be able to to code in C in C in C chart. <clears throat> Tell me, Jose Alfredo. Hi teacher. Hi. Este era leer. Eh, los Read, but in English, a ver, in English. Read the paragraph. We are in level six, yes. Read the paragraph. And select the words that we understand. No, the and words here. related to work. Words ah. related to work. Underline mm -hmm. the words related to work and circle the words you don't understand. And then uh, you, ex you explain in your own words, but in English. Yeah. Mm -hmm. At the end, you will explain in your own words, but in English, no in Spanish. <laughs> okay. Eh. Como vamos? Who is sharing? Sharing. You can share the screen. Mm. You can share the screen so you can see better and go reading at the same time. Estoy con el teléfono. 
Inubia. I have a... Elvin, Elvin no está, ¿verdad? No sé. Yeah, I'm here, teacher. ¿Y su cámara, Elvin? Ya la, o sea, espérame, estoy sin camisa. Thank you. Hello, teacher. Hello. Recuerde que lo necesitamos activo, ¿verdad? No solo conectado, sino que también activo. A ver, a ver. Who can share? Nobody can share. So you can go reading and, and seeing what you're reading, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. We read the paragraph. Did you read the paragraph? Yes. Yes. Individual. Ah, no, I need that you work in teams. Recuerden okay. que cuando lo mando a los grupos no es a trabajar individual, ¿verdad? Sino que es a trabajar en equipos. Oh. Si no me los quedara okay. todos juntos yo allá, se me tarda menos en compartir <risa> el, el, el Zoom cuando no mando a nadie a ningún equipo. Pero el chiste es que... Tengo problemas para compartir la pantalla. Vaya, pero allí incluso aunque estén cada quien por su, por su cuenta, pueden siempre compartirle o, o leer juntos, pues, ¿verdad? Tomarse turnos, aunque cada quien vaya viendo en su propio manual, pero trabajen en equipo, no me trabajen individual. Vaya. La idea de los equipos es que trabajen juntos. Si no me los quedara yo todos allá en, en el grupo grandote. ¿Verdad? Veamos, pongámonos las pilas. Hey, teacher. Hi, hi. 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 Ese es guidance o guidance. No? Guidance. 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 Sí. Ah, guidance. Guidance. ¿Dónde dice guidance? La primera. Y el, el... No me pasa el sueño. <risa> el, ¿Cómo se llama? Kling, Klingon. Uh -huh. Klingon. O Klingon. Pero... Klingon. 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 <laughs> what is the meaning? Teacher, yeah. el significado lo tenemos que poner en inglés. ¿Qué? Pero ese no tiene traducción, Klingon. Ha de ser nombre. No es a language. <laughs> Nunca he oído el Klingon. No, teacher, honestamente no. Espérame, ya le voy a poner algo en Klingon. Mm, con razón no tiene traducción. Es como un dialecto o algo, ¿no? Ya le voy a poner. Sí. Es eh, en, la, en la serie de Star Trek. I'm going to send you a picture. Of Klingon. Check in the WhatsApp group. Yeah. 
the WhatsApp. In the WhatsApp group. <laughs> ya lo vio. Sí. Sí. Va. That's the Klingon. In in Star Trek. In the Star Trek, the the series or movie, they had the the Klingon, and that's why Mozart. I don't remember how they sound. Vamos a ir. Con razón, teacher, esas películas no las he visto. Hey, why to should see them? No, ni yo. No me llama la atención. Ah, a mí también. No. Ay, no. Está bueno, póngalo. <ríe> es science. Este, la traducción dice a members of a warlike hum, humanoid alien species in the television Star Trek. Y it's derivated in sequels. Mhm, mhm. So it was in a, by, for example, if you remember the movie, bueno, the series, Game of Thrones, yes. they, they invented their own language, right? Es igual que los minions que han inventado. Exactly. Una lengua, ¿no? They invented their own language. And the same happened with the Klingon. Okay. Let's see if we can. Bueno, ahí lo dice que las personas no entienden Klingon. O sea, nosotros tampoco. <risa> no sabíamos qué era eso. Sí. Y la otra era teacher managerial. 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 Managerial, así. What is, what is managerial? Relating to a manager or manage, management. 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 Mm -hmm. That's managerial. Okay. Is it, it, similar? Ma managerial is similar? Manager. Manager. But managerial is a noun, right? Mm. Ah, el equipo de, de... Es el equipo no? del manager. Ajá. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Pero como manager es como, como un... Como un jefe, como un solo. Ajá, exacto. Entonces, the managerial team es el equipo del manager. Ah, okay. Do you belong, era, bro, do bro you belong team, to bro. the managerial team? ¿Mm? Do you belong to the managerial team? No, yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Ah, the selling. The selling. Selling team. Selling team. The selling team. But, y la otra palabra, routine, routine, no, routine, routinely. Or routinely. Ah. Uh -huh. Remember, we're routine. talking about update is the next word, right? When you say routinely update, uh, your employees, that means that the employees should be updated regularly. So they should be learning. So the performance of the, of the team is, is good performance, 
because the new things are coming and you are learning all the new things that are coming. ¿Se imaginan que todavía se quedaran ustedes usando el MS2? Y ya con tantas otras cosas que han aparecido. ¿Vale? Entonces a eso se refiere okay, con yeah. having your team updated with the new technologies and all the new things that have, that have appeared. Y el, y el upper management, management, management. Upper management. Okay. De arriba. You will communicate any feedback from the upper manager. O sea, del manager, pues en algunas empresas hay más de un manager, ¿verdad? Entonces, del manager que está más arriba. Yes. That's when you say the upper manager. Teacher, estas palabras sí están bien difíciles. ¿Cuáles? Todas las que les hemos dicho. Ajá. La primera dice P, technical, technically proficient. Proficiency. Ajá. Proficiency. <laughs> o proficient. Is for example, if you say I'm proficient because I know everything at the perfection. So if you say that it's to be technically proficient, that means that he complies with all the necessary things to be the, the, the manager. The manager should know about accounting, should know about uh, directing people, should know about many things, not just uh, having the, the, the knowledge, right? But it has to be proficient in a technical way, uh, talking about knowledge, talking about different aspects. Imagínese que se da un problema técnico y el manager no sabe, right? That's why the manager is the first one that should know how to, uh, to solve any technical problem. What is guidance? Sería la palabra technical guidance, ¿verdad? Guidance. Technical guidance. That's what I was telling you about the, uh, the knowledge that the manager has, right? If there is a problem in the company, the manager knows how to solve that problem and knows how to guide the rest of the personnel and how it help, helps them to, to get better with all the situations. By giving you an example, during the pandemic, uh, we teachers had to learn how to use the different platforms. And every company has a different platform. For example, with the Ministry of Education, we learned to use a Google Classroom. Then uh, in our company, we learned to use Teams. Here, I learned to use Zoom, but the person in charge was the one that was technically prepared and had the technic was technical pro technically proficient to give me the guidance on how to work with each of the different, uh, how can we say, each of the different platforms that we have to use. And that's why, uh, that's where when we're talking about having the, the, the people updated, they came out with a lot of uh, workshops or seminars to prepare all the teachers, especially on the different areas that the capacitation was totally necessary, right? Bueno, I'm going to take you out, I guess, 
you're ready and it's time to call attendance. We will check if everybody finished. If no, I'm going to send you back with a different group. Okay. Okay. Okay, we're still missing people, right? <clears throat> coming, coming. Okay, everybody, sí. ¿Quién me falta? Tenía más gente. Okay, vamos a ver. Did you finish? Yes, no. 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 Bye, I'm going to call attendance and then I'm going to send you with a different group. Let's see. Adriana Marcela. Present teacher. Ana Alicia. Ana. No here, Ana. Teacher. Teacher. Tenía problemas con el Inter, Ana. Oh. Carolina. Carolina. Teacher. Hola. Eh, Fíjese que tengo problemas. Yo los miro, yo, yo miro el cuadro del Zoom, los miro chiquititos. Yo usted la miro así, bien pequeñita, no sé si usted me ve. Pero <risa> quiero... <risa> <risa> quiero meterme así al cuadro bien, pero no me deja cuando lo toco. Ah, le aparece, sí. Cuando salen de un grupo, van a un grupo, el cuadro parece chiquito. Eh, hoy tiene... está, hoy sí. Hoy, hoy sí, está. ok. Ese, eso pasa, hoy yo no sé por qué, al principio no era así, pero últimamente cuando uno sale de los rooms, eh, se reduce. Y cuando sí, regresa, igual lo reduce, o manda todo chiquito. Reduce. Uh -huh. no. Vaya, vamos a ver... Carolina Abigail. Carolina. Carolina, Carolina. No hear Carolina. No. Claudia Carolina. Claudia Carolina. Present. Diego. Present. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Elvin. Present teacher. Grace Michelle. Grace. No está señorita Grace. Joana Ruth. Present. Ok. Jonathan. Present. José Alfredo. Present teacher. Karen Elena. Present teacher. Karen Janet. 
present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Carla Lorena. Present teacher. Carla Patricia. Carla Patricia. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Luis Mauricio lo pedimos. Luis tenía problemas Yo, con el internet. Ajá, se lo llevó la lluvia. Ya está lloviendo. Un concierto de karaoke. Ahí está, pero no es viernes. <ríe> no se vale, no es viernes hoy. Sí, pero es el día libre de él. Ah, pues sí, se fue de karaoke. No, y era Luis, va a decir, si aquí estoy peleando con el Inter. Vamos a ver, Rosy. Present. Ok. David. Present. Oscar. Present teacher. Beatriz. Present teacher. Ok. Ahí estamos, ya complete. Carla Patricia, no, no está. Ni tampoco Karen Stephanie. Ni Carolina Abigail. Ok. Vamos a ver. Ok. Let's go back. Basha, did you finish? I was with a couple of groups and they hadn't finished. What about the others? No, yeah. sure present. Hi, Novia. No le dije, pre no la llamé. No, no, no le creo. <laughs> Nubia. Espérenme. Carla Patricia Pineda. Nubia, what's your last name? Cortés Chávez. Ay, qué chiste, en serio, no le amé. Me salté, ay, me salté desde Luis Mauricio hasta Rosy. Ok, no voy a present. present. <ríe> qué barbaridad. Vaya, pues. Let's see. Vámonos. I'm going to send you to the rooms again, but, but, los voy a mandar a uno diferente. Oye. Why? Why? Porque, pues, ya le dije. Ya le dije volver a crear a Sesquén y Moro. Vamos a ver, Jonathan, José, Alfredo, Rossi, eh, Carla Lorena. Luis Edgardo, Nubia, Ana, Elvin, Joana, Karen, Janet, David, Karen, Elena. Vaya. Ahí está. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Try to join. Eh, nos, 
con mi grupo ya teníamos estas marcadas, pero no sé si ustedes tienen algo otro. Eh, ¿Cuáles eran? Ah, Ahí están en amarillo. Está cargando. <risa> Jonathan, nunca le he visto la cara. Hoy que me acuerdo. No tengo webcam. No tiene cámara. Me conecto desde la computadora de escritorio, por eso. Ah, ya, ya. En la próxima clase me voy a conectar con la cámara. Vaya. Eh, pero ahorita está lloviendo, así que puede ser que se me vaya la señal. Sí, es cierto. Se me vaya la luz. Sí, porque no lo conocemos, ¿verdad? Sí. No lo conocemos. Eh, I am very ugly. <risa> Bueno, ya nos preparó. Ya, ya, vamos a estar listos. Ya. Qué ocurrencia. Ok. ¿Tienen nuevas palabras o subrayamos más? Eh, no pude ver las suyas porque no sé qué pasó. No me cargó. ¿En serio? Sí. Ok, entonces mencionen una. Mm. Lo que puede hacer Rosy para ¿Sí? que para que les cargue a ellos dejar de compartir y compartir de nuevo porque a veces eso pasa es que al dejar oh. de compartir y volver a compartir ya les aparece puede ser el internet de él porque yo sí lo estaba viendo okay. en serio Ajá, ah, pues, pero es... como ya empecé a ver también Ajá, Ajá, pero, eso, pero eso ayuda ojalá verdad y ahora pero, ahora sí Ajá, ya okay. ves. Thank ya you, ves. Teacher. No, es, no es primera vez que me pasa eso. Lo que me estaba dice, mencionando, ¿Sí? guidance. Uh -huh. No es primera vez que me pasa eso. Me dicen, teacher, pero no veo. Te dejo compartir y vuelvo a compartir. Y ahí sí, ya, ya, ya les aparece. Ok. Ok. Sería, para mí, sería proficient. Proficient. Eh, proficient. Eh, managerial. Managerial. Lingo no, porque es como un nombre propio, creo. ¿verdad? Sí, ya nos platicó la ticha, porque nosotros no sabíamos. Okay. Managerial. What is Klingon teacher? Klingo. Allá el grupo de WhatsApp les mandé una foto. De, ah, los, de los Klingo. No sé si ustedes han visto la serie, de, no, la serie de Star Trek. No. Nunca han visto Star Trek. No les creo. Ah. You have to see Star Trek. Ya vio la foto. Okay. Those are the clink. Oh. No les pongo el sonido de cómo hablan porque va a penalizar YouTube, después no me va a dejar subir el video. Derecho de autor. <ríe> sí. Ok, encourage. Eh, gramaticalmente, ¿qué significa? Encourage. Encourage, perdón. Encourage. It's a verb. And the meaning of encourage is like um, to act like a cheerleader, like a ch somebody who cheers another person. So you tell them, come on, you can do it. Go, go, you can do it. You are, you are oh. the best. Uh -huh. That would be the, the, that would be encourage. And when you okay. say encourage teamwork, That means like to open all the necessary situations to make people work in teams, right? That's encourage teamwork. Open the opportunities for helping the employees to work in teams. For example, you, I'm encouraging you to work in teams, right? To have a teamwork. When I send you to the groups and I oblige you sometimes, do it in teams, not it individual, right? That's encourage, like to help or animate you 
to do things together, not, not as individual. And the way a street, what is? When say good communication is a two way street. Two way street. Coming on, uh, if you remember. Uh, palabra que dice neither, neither. Neither. When neither. Help us neither and help us neither. The necessity to give okay. guidance and help her needed to dar a eh, como guías y la ayuda necesaria cuando ellos lo necesiten okay. when ajá uh -huh. needed cuando es necesaria o cuando ellos lo necesiten means means by, by example means sí. means es significar Significado, ¿verdad, Ticha? Significado. En Means. este caso es medios. 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 By example, means working late. Uh -huh. yeah. Vamos a ver. Living, by example, yeah. means. Ah, live by example. Ah, yo ve y lo siento porque les escucho poquito. Oiga. Vaya, vaya, Karen, está bien. Ok. Pero dice, teacher, it Karen says. Stephanie, Karen Janet. Está lloviendo. Karen Janet. Sí. Está lloviendo fuerte sí, es donde Karen. Ahí sí es Ming. Este, es sí, el... bien fuerte. ¿Verdad que sí? Porque dice, leading by example sí. means working means... late. Exacto. Significa trabajar tarde Significa. y en fines de semana mm. con tus empleados. Exacto. ¿Verdad? Not only telling the employees to work late, but also uh -huh. the manager stays with them working late. It, that's leading by example, como, um, uh -huh. como predicar con, con el ejemplo, yes. o dar el ejemplo, yes. liderar con el ejemplo, algo así, ¿verdad? Sí. I am not too lost, or I am no, lost. Very good. <laughs> oh, definitely not. Okay. Solamente Elvin. Eh, uh, en ese mismo párrafo, en pontificating. Pontificating. It's all about youth. No, in on pontification. Uh -huh. eh, en lugar de pontificar. ¿Cómo? Teacher, we have a question. Uh, what is the meaning of Me. the last? We, uh -huh, sorry, we have a. What is the meaning of the last uh, part of the sentence? Uh, and five. Number five. Uh -huh, it's all about doing instead of pontificating. Pontificating, just pointing. So if you say, do do. Instead of telling them, okay, vaya, ya, yeah, hagan, hagan, hagan. That's what a boss normally does or a manager. Se vaya, do, do, do. Diego, do this, Claudia, do this, Adriana. Y él solo queda mirando. All right. But a good manager gives the example. Okay. Okay, por eso luego dice, and doing the right thing. Hacer and doing the right thing, exactly. So a good manager not only tells the others to do, imagine that, uh, that he tells you, but you have to give an extra mile. Y él se va a las tres. Right? <laughs> or he sucede, sucede. <laughs> ah, no, definitely. Or, or, he, he, or he tells you, you have to come on Saturday. But he doesn't get on Saturday. Or if he appears, you see him like dressed, like getting, like if he's going to the beach and just passes watching that you're there, but then he's leaving to the beach and, you see, and you're there working. So that would be like giving the example and doing the right thing. Okay, thank you. Okay. okay thank you. Pero el significado específico como de pontificator, pontic, 
Es eso, es como dar orden. Look at my finger. Mm -hmm. Like pointing. Yeah. Okay. Empezaba a llover aquí. Ah? It's raining here. Here, yeah, no. Oh, in your house, yes, right? Yes, in my house, yes. Mm -hmm. But check. When you say pontificate, eh, it has two meanings. El pontificado, que es in the, in, the, in the Catholic Church, right? Talking about the bishop or the mass. But also a pontificate express one's opinions in a way considered annoyingly composed and dogmatic. When you say he was pontificating about art and history, pontificating, telling you what to do, pero en una forma así como que yo lo sé todo, y ustedes que no son managers no saben. Aparte de, aparte de mandarlo, ajá, aparte de mandarlo, hacerlo sentir como que no saben. Ustedes no saben. El que sabe es el manager. Right? That's, that's pontificating. It says in a pompous, it's a pomposo, right? A pomposo and dogmatic way. Vamos a buscarlo en, en el Webster Dictionary. El Webster Dictionary says to, to speak, to speak or express opinions in a pompous or dogmatic way, el mismo. Vamos a ver, the other was giving a, 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 a ¿cómo se llama? A synonym. ¿Qué significa dogmatic? ¿En español? Sí. Dogma? Ajá, pero... Es este, una verdad infalible. Ok. ¿Una creencia? No. ¿Como una? Como una creencia, no. Mm -hmm. Sí, ¿verdad? Bueno, Adriana, usted, usted sabe de eso. <risa> Bye, check. Eh, es que sí, se usa mucho con la iglesia católica lo del pontificado. Pero uh -huh. como verbo, como verbo es eso. Talking a dogmatic and pompous manner. Dice que un dogma es una doctrina, un sistema de pensamiento. Ajá que se tiene que no puede ponerse en duda. Por eso una verdad infalible. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Sorry. Ay. Ahí está. So, the manager is the one that knows. Pero cheque, que dice in a dogmatic and pompous way. That means that He says, okay, uh, he presents his, his true, right? As a dogma, like it's the only one that exists is the one that he's giving. And a part of that, it is in a pompous way. And pompous means arrogant. A pompous person is an arrogant or considered, considered as orgulloso pero de una forma negativa, porque orgulloso hay dos formas, ¿verdad? Yeah. Eh, consider that is like looking at the others like under your shoulder, and the other that is proud when you feel orgulloso, but in a good way, because you have done something good. ¿Cómo, cómo dijo proud y cuál era el otro? Consider. Consider, ok. Consider. Ahí se lo voy a poner en el chat. Consider. Entonces, en este, en este punto, el pontificating es como, o sea, una persona que dice lo que dice y que quiere tener la razón. 
y ya. Y solo eso. Y que hasta eso. eleva la voz, como que solo yo sé. Como lo que yo digo es. Uh -huh. okay. y usted, pero jefe, mire. No. Lo que yo digo, así es. Nobody can tell them no like that. No, I don't like that. We can do it in a better way. There is no other better way. Just the one they are telling. Mm -hmm. That's pontificating. Imagine. And the dogma that you said is it's, it's something that is like a, a true, right? So the, the, the boss here is communicating his true in his own way and he has the reason and nobody else. In most of the case, uh, many, many managers are very considered Ajá, consider. They, 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 believe, they believe that they only know the, the truth. They are the they only are ones. Wrong. Exactly. Uh -huh. They are the they only are ones who are correct. Yeah. Nobody else is correct. Nobody else is correct. Just them. Uh -huh. Y hasta cambian la voz. Have you noticed that? to show the authority and the, I have the, the right and I have the last word too. Okay, tell me, did you finish? Yes, I, I believe that we finished, right? Mm -hmm. Did you explain the things in your own words? Yeah. Yes. Okay, I'm going to go check one more group and then I call you. Okay, thank okay, you. Okay, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Hi. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hi, teacher. Uh, fine. Vamos, did you finish? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. I will call you then. Oh, it's it's raining cats and dogs. Soy Lorena Leiva. Ok. So sorry, me estoy encerrando porque mucha bulla se oye. Y se está lloviendo fuerte. Está lloviendo bastante fuerte. I thought, I thought it was going to rain earlier because since very early it was very dark. Like showing, trying to appear, right? The, the, the rain, but now it's raining really, really hard. But let's go to, let me share. A ver. What new mm -hmm. words did we find here? No new words? The first word yes. Klingon. <laughs> Klingon. Klingo. Klingo. I need a pen. The language the eh, Viaje a las estrellas? Star Trek. <laughs> yes. Star Trek. Allí en el grupo de WhatsApp De, de la clase, I sent you a picture, right? That's Klingon. Let's learn to speak Klingon better than English. 
<laughs> okay. Uh -huh. Who can explain this characteristic? Be a people person. It's a person who likes people or who likes to work with people. Mm -hmm. What does it say about you getting getting along better with the computers than with people? Uh -huh. You should not a good fit for managerial team. You are not yeah. you are not prepared for being a part of the managerial team of Noxor. Change a job, right? Change job. Go work yes. with computers, not with people. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So you're not a good fit for our managerial team if you can get along with people. Okay. Yes. Well, in total, I will say there are many, many jobs that we cannot do if we are not good or if we don't know how to work with people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's see the next one. Be a good communicator. <clears throat> Any new words here? Share feedback. Feedback. Let's see. Oh, here. Feedback is, for example, when somebody has a, a performance that can be good or bad, and the boss, or the, in this case, the manager, is ready to tell them eh, you're doing a good job or you're not doing a good job, right? But eh, telling the employee what the employee needs to know and making them feel good, even when the feedback is not completely good, right? The, the feedback is like that summary of what you're doing that the employee needs to know. Yeah. Any other word? Yeah. I offer, look offer management. I look for that word too. Which one? Upper management. Upper management. What is but I, but I know the meaning right now. Uh huh. Tell me, Joanna. Like a uh, superior uh, manager. You know that in some companies there are different types of managers. Like yes. One that is on the top. So the upper management is that top. Yeah. <clears throat> Any other? Now this term teleconferencing has become very common, right? Yes. Who wants to explain this characteristic? Volunteer. This characteristic to say that you need to be a good uh, Talking, uh, explaining, sending emails, talking face to face with people, uh, telling your teams if they, they are uh, uh, they are good with their uh, like um, goals, and if the if the customers or the employees have some feedback they have to be able to communicate to her upper management the information. Okay. Imagine it's more difficult, I think, to write some information, right? When we want to communicate something by writing, it's like if we tend to think a little bit more 
on how we are going to write the things that we want to say, because it's not the same when the things go with our own voice and the intonation that I'm giving, the pronunciation, the intonation, and what I think transmits a message, a full message. But when you write something, when the person reads the message, can give a total different intonation to the one that you were planning to give when you wrote the message. That's why it is so important to think carefully what you're going to write. And a, and a manager has to know exactly that, that when they are writing a message, it's not the same as when they are communicating face to face or as they are teleconferencing or communicating something in public to all the audience, that is very difficult to be in front of people that at the beginning you were like, oops, no, what am I going to say? But later on, the manager has to get to know that he's going to communicate with all the public and he has to know how to do it well, yeah? So all these characteristics of communicating effectively, it doesn't matter how. If it will be a speaking or in a greeting way. Okay, let's see the next one. Be technically proficient. Who wants sure. to explain this one? Yes, was it clear? In, in the second point, when we say, when, when say, uh, what means when say to why street? Okay, I don't remember. I don't know if you remember when we were in high school. I remember that there was like a a box or a chart that they always put when talking about communication and show two ways. The, the voice going and the voice coming, or the message going and the message coming. And that's a two-way street. So the communication goes but comes, right? If it is a one-way street, this is communicating, informing, letting the other know, and the other is just a receptor. But if there is a two-way a, a two -way street, the communication is going from here to here and going back, going and coming, going and coming. So the two people are giving information, but the two people are receiving. That is communication, right? When one is re receiving and the other is giving, that's not communication. Or at least not a good one, right? I don't know if that's clear for you, Jose Alfredo? Yes, it's okay. clear. Yeah, when I read that, that chart that I saw in high school, imagine, whoosh, that was a long time ago, but that's what came to my mind. It's like, mm -hmm. Because that's how communication is represented. <clears throat> now let's see number three. Be technically proficient. Who wants to explain this one? Mm-hmm. <coughs> Check. I want you to, to come to this. A manager is not going to know everything all the time, right? but at least has to have a notion of all the things that are done under his responsibility. And one of those things is that he should be able to give technical guidance. If there is a situation, he, she should know how to give a technical guidance, 
how to use the best strategies in the different situations. And remember here, we're talking about solving uh, problems also, right? And also what are the best methods to be used? Because they want success. And that's the purpose of having a manager to keep the team going in a good direction, of course, to success. But what happens if the manager knows nothing, but nothing, nothing? Mm -hmm. They will be in problems. Yes. If they have a, any situation that they have to, to take some rescues or, or decision, a very important decision, they don't have the proper guidance as the technical guidance as the letter said, as the article said. Okay. So imagine, and look at the reference they do, right? Like having watched Happy Feet or the March of the Penguins does not qualify you as technically proficient in Linux. Or if you say, well, having watched all the Star Trek series of the Star Watch Wars. Grey's Anatomy doesn't make me a doctor, right? Exactly. <laughs> right? Exactly. I cannot fly a machine just because I saw all the, all the Star Wars movies, all the Star Trek series. Right? Mm -hmm. And as Joanna says, watching the good doctor of Grey's Anatomy, that thing make you become a doctor. Yeah. Okay, nice. Encourage teamwork. Who wants to explain this one? Encourage teamwork. <clears throat> <clears throat> I think that this one is one of the most important because a uh, the manager had to be with your their team. Uh, it did say you are required to sit and work with your staff, not only give um how do you say only give orders, uh, orders and just let them that they do whatever they want and I you mean, don't I help open. them mm -hmm. and yes open, it's, the doors close i do what they, I do and you work uh -huh. he had to be considered that there is uh, himself part of the team exactly Exactly, that's another phrase, part of a team. So encourage the best practices for building teamwork, building teamwork. And you know, this is a, talking about teamwork. I remember when I was a child, everything was like working the bitch or do it alone. Don't cheat from your partner, do it alone, do it alone, do it alone. Do it alone. Now everything is working teams, work together, do it with your partner, work with your partner. And for example, here, when I send you to the mini groups, it's with the, with the purpose that you learn to work in teams because as you work in teams, you help each other, you support each other, right? And the same happens in, in a job now, all the jobs require the cooperation of everybody, right? And of course, the manager has to be working there together with the staff. Now, let's see the last one. Who wants to, to share this one? Says the best managers lead by example. This is similar to the number four. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, like we, uh, the manager have to be leading with examples to be ab available to what they need to give them the, the methods, the guidance, everything that her team, his team need to, to work. 
I was telling you to uh, I and, was telling a group about this. Check. And they said uh, with your employees, parking with your employees and using the same washroom that your employees, it's mean that be the manager doesn't mean you are superior to them or you are going to be exclusive. It means that you have a team and you have to work with them and be the same thing like they are. Mm -hmm. Exactly, exactly. So you see, being the example, so the team is working late, the manager too. The team is working on weekends, the manager too. I'm like, okay, you come on the weekend and I will go to the beach, right? So everybody working there, but unfortunately, that's not the reality in many places, right? Yes. Okay, well, let's Teacher, go. just, just, uh -huh. I just had a question about vocabulary. Tell me. Uh, and this chair, uh, it's all about doing instead of pontificating. Pontificating. Yes, what's the meaning of, of that word? Pontificating is like when you speak about something or you present uh, your idea in a, in a very Pompous. It says pompous means like I see yo. I'm the I'm the one. I know the truth, and whatever I say is the last word. And what you think, forget it because I'm the manager, and I know what I'm telling you, and you will do what I say, right? So that's pontificating. That's why it says it's all about doing instead of pontificating like it's all about we are doing this together instead of do only give an order uh -huh. something but, like that but it says a pontificate means i'm going to to read to you the the, the exact definition it says let me see Aquí está. it's to talk in a dogmatic and pompous manner. And pompous, the definition for pompous is that's what I was telling you. It's considered, it's like feeling that I know, but the rest of the, of the world doesn't, right? So in this case, the manager is communicating his ideas, but like in an order. My truth is the truth. And what I'm telling you is all you can, you have to do. So do not tell me that you want to do it in, a, in another way. Because the only way that exists is the one I'm telling you, right? Okay. It means consider. Consider as orgulloso, but not in a good way, right? Mm -hmm. That's pontificating. Okay. It's clear now. Thank you. Great, great. Now let's go to here. About the reading that we just had. Right? Tell me if these things are true or false. It is more important to manage systems than people. False. False. To be a great communicator, one should use as many tools as possible. True. 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 Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Are methods similar to tools? But for example, when you said emails, when you said presentation, visual presentations are tools. Method is the way. Mm -hmm. The tool is the computer, the cell phone. That's oh. 
the, okay. the letter, the computer, the cell phone, those will be the tools. These are the methods. Oh. So no, the remember, answer is both. Remember, a tool is a thing, right? Okay, uh, so it's false. But tool could be a program too, or no, or no? Okay. A, a, tools could be a, a, the, the way you use a program? That would be like a technique. But the tool is the computer. La herramienta, right? La herramienta que ocupa. ¿Cuál es la herramienta? La computadora, el celular, la carta, el lapicero, el teléfono, o el cell phone o el teléfono, right? O the telegraph, no, ya no existe. Bueno, sí, vea. So, what, what, are, what is, what do you think? Do you need to use different tools? No, it's false. Porque qué tal yo ocupo el teléfono, pero le grito a la gente. <laughs> Could be, right? Okay, what about in order to be technically proficient, giving one's opinion is enough? No, why not? Because you have to have knowledge about the situations to take the best decisions? Mm -hmm. Knowledge, right? Show the knowledge and help solve problems, not just a one opinion. Because as an opinion, I can give an opinion even if I don't know anything about, about medicine, but that doesn't make me technically proficient. ¿Y por qué no lo operan ya? But I don't know. If the person is diabetic and the sugar is very high, <laughs> so I, 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 yeah, I can just give my opinion, but I'm not proficient, right? Encouraging teamwork is as important as being part of the team. True or false? True. True. Mm -hmm. True. Yes, and the last one. If you are a manager, you can skip extra work and have weekends off. False. 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 It had to be false, but it's not. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. ¿Por qué dice you can? They do it as much as they can. Okay. Vamos a ver. We have push one minute. Uh, you're going to write a seven line paragraph about your work experience and personal information, such as studies, experience, and other jobs. Les voy a dar los minutos en lo que yo paso attendance. Okay? Vamos a ver. I'm going to stop. ¿Qué van a escribir? Seven line paragraph ahí en el manual about your work experience and personal information such as studies, experience and other jobs. And remember to mention when, right? Using the time expressions, when those things happen. Vamos a ver, tell me, Adriana. Present. Present teacher. Eh, Ana. Present teacher. Carolina Abigail. Claudia Carolina. Present teacher. Eh, Diego. Present. Edwin Mauricio. Present teacher. Okay. Edwin Mauricio. Diego. Present. Elvin. Present, teacher. Grace Michelle. 
Joanna. Present. Jonathan. Jonathan. José Alfredo. Karen Present teacher. Karen Elena. Present teacher. Karen Janet. Present teacher. Karen Stephanie. Carla Lorena. Carla Patricia. Luis Edgardo. Present teacher. Luis Mauricio. Nubia. Present teacher. Rosailda. Present teacher. David. Present teacher. Oscar Mauricio. Present teacher. Beatriz. Beatriz. Nota. Ok. Vaya. Este. Hoy se queda conmigo, Diego. Yes. Ok. Any questions about today's class? No question. Vaya, ready for sharing with me tomorrow what you got. Uh, remember, please, to complete the platform for today, right? Uh, I collect your grades tonight. Unit number one. Ayer estaba revisando en la noche. Y hay gente que me está bien bajita. Teacher. Teacher. Yo tengo problemas con la plataforma todavía, no me han solventado. ¿Cómo así? ¿Qué le pasa? No puedo ingresar. ¿Y por qué no me había dicho, Luis Edgardo? Sí, le dije cuando no, no. la primera clase que no me habían mandado correo ni me habían dado acceso a la plataforma. Por eso no me había conectado a la primera clase. Vamos a ver, pero ¿y se comunicó usted con alguien? Sí. Eh, dijeron que me iban a mandar de nuevo el acceso, pero no. Según yo, ya eso estaba solventado, porque no me volvió a comentar nada. Sí, o sea, perdón, el correo me lo mandaron, pero no para accesar a la plataforma. Y como después ya lo vi aquí adentro, entonces yo dije, ah, pues ya está. Sí, incluso me estoy conectando desde el link que, que han puesto en el WhatsApp. Mm -hmm. Vaya, vamos a, a informarle entonces. Sí, porque según yo, como ya lo veía bien conectado, yo dije ya le, ya le solucionaron. ¿Cómo logró conectarse a WhatsApp? incluyeron en un grupo y ahí agarro el link para conectarme ya, ya mandé el, el cómo se llama 
Ok, me imagino que mañana van a contactar y eh, mañana me pongo al día con lo que le debo. Que sí, sí, porque sí, eh, así en serio le digo que según yo ya, ya estaba solventado. Estaba solventado porque como ya lo veía conectado bien tranquilo, ella no me volvió a comentar nada. Entonces, okay. yo dije, ah, pues ya está, ya está todo nítido. ¿Verdad? Entonces ya lo reporté allí, esperemos que en el transcurso del día de mañana le solvente. Súper. Uh -huh. Mil vale. gracias. Bueno. Ok, bueno, see you tomorrow. Have a nice see you tomorrow. Day. Take bye. care. Bye bye. A dormir. No, todavía no. Terminen la tarea primero. <risa> no vamos a dormir. Teacher, yo solo tengo una preguntita. Eh, al final, eh, solo para ver si podemos verificar, no sé si ahora o después, eh, con qué usuario entra al final en la plataforma. Ya le digo. Porfa. Ah. Está patinando. Entró con Adriana Marcela Menéndez. ¿Menéndez? Ah, no, Jiménez. No, dice. <risa> <risa> ya no. <risa> ya me está cambiando el apellido. Ah, el correo es adru700. Ah, el 795. Con ese. Ok, está bien, entonces. Muchísimas gracias. Bueno. Y ahí Feliz noche. Tiene que asegurarse de usar siempre el mismo. Sí, la otra semana le pregunto. Si sí, a la otra semana no tengo problema, yo creo que ya me fui así. Ok, perfecto. Okay. Gracias, buenas noches. Bueno, buenas noches. Ok, a ver. ¿Quién se quedaba conmigo? Diego. Yes. Ok. Chal, mi Diego. Antes bye. que nada. Adiós. Bye. Bye. Hasta la tarea, Oscar. Ah, se fue. Pero hasta las 5, ¿verdad? Sí, hasta las 5. Ajá, pues le contesté bien. Eh, Puede revisar mi usuario si está activo y si tiene las tareas registradas, sí. Sí, claro que sí. Es que ya las hice. Sí, sí, veo que hoy estuvieron trabajando. Ay, no, ayer me asustaron porque yo dije, no. Vamos a ver, Diego. Sí, 100. Uh. Ok. Así me llega. Porque ya después yo okay. recojo bien galán, me olvido. Ajá, es que es para que ya no nos pase lo de la vez pasada. Ay, sí, pero mire, qué bueno que a usted solo le aparece uno. A Adriana le aparece uno dos siempre. Ajá, no sé por qué. Ajá. Ay, Porque me metí con el otro correo que tenía y solo me aparece activo el módulo 5, entonces creo que hasta ahí lo dejaron. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, porque a Adriana le aparece dos, a Carolina solo le aparece uno. Ah, ok, pero bueno, lo importante es que aparezca. Mejor, mejor porque ajá, sí, ahí está, ahí está completo. Sí. Ve, Beatriz ya hizo la uno y la dos. Y el Mircham.
que hágala. <risa> ah, o sea que si, 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 si uno puede adelantar, lo puede hacer. Se puede adelantar, lo que no debes atrasarse. Ah, ok. Ah, bueno, entonces no sabía sí. que era así como. Ajá, adelantarse no hay problema. Ustedes okay. pueden adelantarse. Lo que y no... las tareas siempre las va a recoger martes. Siempre voy a estar recogiendo las notas martes. Ajá. Ok, así nos da chance el sábado más fácil. Sí, es cierto. Uh -huh. Es cierto. Sí, porque sí, cada martes yo recojo y cada miércoles ellos revisan. ¿Verdad? Y la otra semana ya, ya puede ir empezando a hacer el midterm que tiene parte de la unidad 1 y parte de la unidad 2. Ah, ok, ok. Y como tienen la ventaja de que pueden repetir, entonces no hay problema de que si se equivocaron, hicieron el ejercicio y se equivocaron, aún sale mejor porque ya cuando va a la clase ya sabe en qué enfocarse. Porque ya sabe qué es lo que lleva el Ajá, ejercicio. Y el, mil, eh, el examen ese intermedio se puede dejar como inconcluso, sí. Sí, es que va por partes. El examen tiene, creo que son cuatro partes, cuatro ¿no? partes y Ajá. cada parte vale 25. Okay. Entonces usted perfectamente puede entrar un día, a hacer la primera parte, otro día la segunda y así poquito a poco. Así no necesita dejar todo para el martes próximo, sino okay. que por lo menos lo relacionado a la unidad 1 ya lo puede hacer, ¿verdad? Y ya el fin de semana completar por lo menos la tercera parte del examen. Así ya para lunes o martes ya solo le queda un pedacito. Ok. Porque aquí va, son cuatro partes. Ok. Así se facilita para sí, ustedes se... y para mí. ¿Verdad? Que no... tiene, ah, <ríe> que tiene el tema más fresco también. Uh -huh. Ok. Exacto. Ok. No sé si tiene alguna otra preguntita. Tre, una pregunta así es rápida y es una pregunta técnica. Dígame. Eh, ¿Estos niveles lo tienen así como en presencial? Le voy a investigar. Ah, ok. Le voy a investigar porque yo sé que sí hay presencial, pero más temprano. De 6 a 8. Sí, creo que tienen más temprano, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Entonces, Porque esa hora solo es virtual, ¿verdad? Sí, sí, a esta hora más, muy tarde para salir a las 10 de la noche. Ay, sí, durmiéndose todos. <risa> más tranquilo el tráfico, ¿verdad? Pero sí, ya la sí. Entonces, eh, yo le voy a... Ay, a esta hora están preguntando si eso ya lo expliqué dos veces. <risa> lo del grupo, lo de, sí. Lo de la unidad 2, ya vio, vea, la de sí, sí, la unidad sí. 2. Eso ya lo hicimos dos veces, lo hicimos en clase. Va, entonces, okay. este, sí, yo le voy a investigar y cualquier cosa yo le aviso, ¿verdad? Ok, listo. Eso sería todo de mi parte, teacher. Ok. Bueno, bueno, Diego, que pase una okay. buena noche, entonces. Gracias, igual. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.